Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I believe to be the final episode of Minecraft Solar Survival. It's been, it's been a good run. I will admit, it's been a very good run, but in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the things that are, I don't know, kind of leading me to want to be done with this world. And believe me, I've had a lot of fun. I've had a really good time doing this. I mean, this is my very first world that I've ever done on YouTube, and I think I've done a fairly good job for my this being my very first one. I've never built custom trees before. I've never built a starter base looking anything like that before. Never built a barn. Like, there's so many new things that I've been able to do throughout this series. I've built an entire train all by myself. Just a lot of fun stuff that we were able to do. I even made an elytra course through a mountain. I worked with redstone a bit, which I thought was totally, totally awesome. But yeah, I'm going to be going over just some of the reasons why I think it needs to be done soon. And I, I could come back to it. I could come back to this world sometime in the future when I have more inspiration or when I just have something that I feel I want to do. I mean, I had fun doing redstone stuff like this. This was cool. But there's there's a problem. In my last video, I said that I was going to be done and I joined a server called the Simple SMP. I had a great time on there. People were really, really nice. I built a boat for the first time, which is cool. I actually could have built that on here instead, but I did that there. And I spent a couple weeks after that video and I was like, oh, I'm going to upload a little. I'm going to upload more. I'm going to upload in one week. And um, it didn't happen. I was working on a mini game. It was going to be like kind of like ice hockey but with a mob and it was going to be a mini game for everyone to play and it didn't really i couldn't get it to work like i wanted it to there were a lot of problems with it and i couldn't really get it to work consistently so i got frustrated and gave up on that and then from then on i just i just couldn't get myself to get back on the server which just <laughs> sounds like me 100%. So that's kind of why I stopped uploading for it's been it's been 5 months, but there's a bunch of other stuff too. And probably the main reason I'm thinking of quitting this world, not quitting just you know, letting it letting it rest, being done with it for a while is that Minecraft is a game that's meant to be shared with people. You don't just get this good at Minecraft and <laughs> I'm not actually that great, okay. I'm your average player, but you don't get good at Minecraft without either watching other people or playing with other people and the thing is i have been, been i've really been missing that i should have i should have taken my chance with the simple smp a bit more seriously because that was actually a lot of fun so that's another thing i wish i would have done i wish i would have taken that more seriously um when it comes to this world <sighs> building these things is fun it's been a blast but when you don't have anything to you know break up the monotony of doing these kind of builds it gets really old like i i long for that interaction between people where i can be like oh i'm gonna go build something for a part of the episode i'm gonna go do something with somebody else for the rest of the episode and then we can call it we can call it a day and then i have enough stuff for one video but i kind of have to do i've kind of had to do twice as much stuff as i would need to if i was playing on a server because you can fill a lot of that time with interactions between people doing mini games fun stuff like that and when i was growing up when i was younger playing on my ipad that was a, that was a blast but um i would only play with my friends basically you know, i'd goof around by myself a little bit but nothing like this and we would just grind we would just grind out all this stuff we'd make farms together do all this fun stuff which was so much fun but i can't do that on a world like this and you know, I think I th the way I'm going to view this series is as kind of just like my start, you know, it's a start. It's how I learned how <laughs> to record properly, how to talk in front of a camera, how to build some things like I'm not very good. I'm not very good at building. I'm still proud of what I've done, but it's kind of just like my uh, my trial run, I think. And now that I'm good at just the whole YouTube part of it playing with people can actually be something I can do. Now there's also motivation things along with that. I have college classes that I'm taking in high school that sometimes get in the way. Stress, just a lot of things to do. Still living at home so I don't really get to decide how fully how my schedule works. And it's just, it's just really hard to come up with ideas. And if I'm building with a bunch of other people, it's so much easier to come up with stuff and be like hey that's a cool idea maybe i can try something along the lines of that and you know build off each other's and you know you know you can do group projects stuff like that 
which would be totally amazing. But here, there's none of that. And I... <laughs> you do not want to know within the last five months how long I've been wasting my time trying to figure out, figure out the design for this. Because this, if you haven't been watching my series, this is my mega base. This is going, was going to be my mega base. Let's see if we can actually, um, here's my Minecraft Solar Survival test world. Let's see if we can get in here. Basically, that was all I had. That octagon is the only thing that I had when it came to a mega base. So it was kind of difficult when that's all I had. And then I'm trying to build off of that and be like, oh, what can I do with this? But like, I wasn't done. I shouldn't have started a project I didn't know how to finish. Um... <laughs> Because now that I made the octagon, I'm like, oh, well, well, now now what do I do? Like, uh, I'm kind of screwed now. I don't know how to finish this out. This is definitely definitely based off of um, Green's Season 6 Hermitcraft based. Because that is my favorite YouTube series of all time. Watching him figure out how to play the game was literally the best. And that's another reason why it hasn't been as fun for me. Because watching him figure out how to play the game... Like, I know how to play Minecraft. I know how to do very well at Minecraft now. And... It was just fun to watch him still be lighthearted about everything, goof off, you know, try out dumb things that don't work. And I know I knew they wouldn't work, but it was fun to watch somebody else who didn't know that they would work um, go through the process of like learning the game. And I've already learned the game. So, yeah, there's that. It's just uh, this was all literally all I had. I had I had a different world somewhere. I tried. Yeah, here. I was working on a build that I was going to do for Christmas. Here that is. I had a Chris. I actually really like this design. I might do this on the server if the server lasts that long. Because I still think it's a good design. But like I had done all this stuff. And I just, you can see I was literally trying my hardest to get stuff done that I could build. And it just didn't work. I had a whole house over there that looks kind of okay. It's interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was working on it. I never finished it. It's really bland. I was going to have like a little painting here with it. Anyway, but just just so proof of that, I was trying to figure stuff out. That was a failed house that I was trying to do. It, it wasn't failed. I just, I can't, my brain is, I don't have enough time in a week to record an episode and before that, get the build designed because at this point in my building i'm not good enough to build something without having a design first I, everything i've built in my world basically i did before in a creative world because like even this like i tested this out to see how it would look because i'm just not i'm not good enough i'm not good enough yet at building to know what's gonna look good so i literally have to do it in a creative world so yeah this is just proof that i like i was trying it's been five months i was i was trying and so yeah there's the uh, whole mega base predicament just there's nothing behind it it was just an octagon that's that's all i had so interesting idea it was dis based off of um greens build but also based off of something that i built with my friends when i was younger on our realm and i had a lot of fun doing that so yeah so there's that and then another thing is i got a new pc my game is running at 165 frames per second while recording which for me is great i used to run at 60 fps when recording on my old computer but that also means there's a lot of new games i could play with my friends i already came down here i don't know where, where i'm going really but um there's a lot of new games that I could play, and so it was really easy to have an excuse to not record, because it's just stressful trying to come up with something to build and then have and then trying to figure out how to do it. We're gonna go on a little a little quick journey of everything I've done. We have pumpkin and melon farm that we had from like really early on, and with that we were able to get really really rich with emeralds we've got our sugarcane mob farm and iron farm which literally carried us through the entire series like we had the mega base over there of course and we had our little our little lighthouse here which you know i'm gonna give it one more fly through just to see if i've still got it um i really enjoyed making this because once again inspired by hermits i uh saw this hermit craft Glitch course that they built in season six. Once again, my favorite season. But uh, that was what inspired this. Ugh. I would be dead right now if I didn't have armor. And so that's why I wanted to build this. I've really been trying to just look at old seasons of Hermitcraft and be like, oh, that looks fun. Do something like that. You know. But there's it's just hard to come up with ideas and then hard 
when you do have an idea, it's even harder to implement it because you're like, can I do this? And then you often can't. Or at least I can't. And we are back. See, that, that wasn't, it was so much fun doing some simple stuff like this. Like a pearl stasis chamber? Who even, who even does that for an elytra course? I thought that was so smart. Like, I remember, I remember countless live streams where I just had an absolute blast talking with chat about random stuff, getting debates on things, you know, just having a blast. That was great. And then there was that one terrible stream where I got trolled by the same person. That was awful. Don't want to remember that, but... Yeah, we have the starter base. This is literally how it started, how it started out. Little nether portal. Our pond and farm that was here from the very beginning. Man, you, this, this is the thing. This, this world is two years old. This looks like a world that your average Minecrafter could get done on their own within like a few, like four months. This should, this should have been four months worth of content right here. And based on my upload schedule when I was uploading one video a month it was clear there was something wrong um yeah anyway we have the barn the secret base man this is just giving me flashbacks to so many episodes I really did think I was gonna build something down here we had our little strip mine in the bottom of the full ocean I thought I was gonna build like a secret base down here or something I don't know didn't work out and one of my favorite builds, I wish I could, one of my favorite builds here too, I forgot, the wishing well. Um, I might continue this on and do this again later in a different series, but this was one of my favorite designs for a beacon ever. Um, I thought it was really, really neat. So yeah, that's basically the entirety of stuff that we built over the course of two years. Um, so yeah, it was clear that I had some issues getting it done so yeah i think um i think that's about all i have to say about that there's probably a few more things i can always talk about later but um there is a new server that i have actually just joined i'm not sure what i'm gonna do on there i have no builds planned which is kind of disappointing i'm tr trying to work on that i'm gonna i'm gonna design a mega base and i'm gonna have more than just an octagon this time when i you know try and figure that out you know i think there's no better way to end the series than with me my boy Rupert and Blue. That's how it started. That's how it's going to end. And I seriously thank everybody so much for all that you guys have done supporting me and giving me good. Like, it, the comments have been just insane how supportive everyone is. Like those comments, you may not have thought you were being very helpful to me when you were being nice and telling me that I did a good job, but literally that's all that kept me going. Knowing that I provided something of value and enjoyment. For other people is literally what keeps me going on stuff like this so i i really really appreciate it and hey we hit we had 300 subscribers with this series like that is not bad it took two, two years um but you know like we did it 300 is a, 300 i should be pr i should be proud 300 is a good number and one day if i'm lucky enough i'd like to get well off enough that you know get monetized maybe maybe i can Start making a little money off of it but as long as i keep getting enough views that i'm still providing enjoyment to people it is all worth it to me no matter what i get out of it because that is enjoyment enough so as i usually say thank you everyone so much for watching if you did enjoy the whole series be ready i should be coming out with something else i, sh I should be uh, if i can and sometimes it's also good to remember that this is what we had this was like the start of it i love i wish i would have made more maps to see i was planning on building when i started out i was planning on building all on the on the mountain here all of this built so like i wanted a whole town it's just i'm just not good enough for that yet but at the end of the video i'm gonna have i think a list of every single amazing comment anyone has ever given to me as just a shout out and a thank you to everyone who has watched my streams watched my videos supported me um i'm just very grateful so rupert i will be seeing you again shortly i hope in blue likewise to you wait there's one more thing there's one more thing i forgot there's one more final goodbye and that has got to be to this guy you know you can you can just keep looking the other way with your attitude yeah yeah i'm right i'm i'm right in front of you but thank you everybody i seriously appreciate it and i hope 
I really hope to be seeing you shortly. All right, bye. All right, so this is editing buck two from the future. Um, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be making public every single old video that I had because I had some old Bedwars videos that I made, but I'm going to be pu publicing all, all of those because I had them unlisted and I don't think I really need to have them like that anymore. I think it's important to see, you know, how I actually started out. So you guys can enjoy those if you want to. You can make fun of me at how terrible I was starting out because I sounded awful, but uh, yeah, enjoy those. And once again, thank you guys.